From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. During a factory tour to Transformer Manufacturer Reliable Transformers 3,500 square meter manufacturing facility in Benoni, the company outlined several plans that would help it increase its production capacity. Chantal Kotza has the details. From humble beginnings 32 years ago, Reliable Transformers has grown into a company with significant future plans. Reliable Transformers CEO Andre van Sale tells us more about the company's plans going forward. We are busy with an expansion project at the moment. We are going to probably triple our capacity within the next year and we are heavily focusing on the African market. We see that as a growth point and we are investing heavily in that. In the transformer industry and the, and the uh, client's needs are moving towards dry type epoxy cast transformers and we are looking at um, equipping ourselves to be able to compete in those markets as well. Dry type and oil full transformers, constant voltage transformers, converter feeder transformers, precipitator transformers and reactors and chokes are some of the products designed and manufactured in-house by the company. Reliable Transformers General Manager Neil Becker elaborates on the company's manufacturing capability. Reliable Transformers are manufacturing all the internal components of the Transformers in-house. We manufacture all the components for the winding as well as the assembly components in internally. Uh, we do the winding of the coils as well as the butt cores. We do the manufacturing of the butt cores and the, all the steel fabrication work takes place at the Reliable Transformers. We also do the internal painting of the vessels and the tanking of the transformers into the vessels as well as the testing of the transformers. Finsale tells us more about reliable transformers plant and equipment. Uh, we operate eight overhead cranes in various workshops. We've got four workshops in total and we provide a complete complement all the processes needed to manufacture transformers from scratch. Other news making headlines this week, government, business and labour will grapple with the hostile labour climate at an upcoming summit and Worley Parsons consolidates its EPCM offering at its new headquarters. Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa announced recently that a national labour relations in Daba would be convened in November to enable the social partners to begin grappling with the root causes of South Africa's prevailing hostile labour relations environment, which was sapping confidence and weighing on growth, employment and investment prospects. I will be convening the first high-level dialogue between the social partners as constituted in NEDLEC in November to take forward deliberations on key issues facing the labor market, especially the state of labor relations in our country. We need to understand the factors behind these protracted conflicts in the workplace and agree as social partners on steps on how we are going to address these. Establishing it as one of the largest engineering contractors in the country, Engineering, Procurement, Construction and Management Group Worley Parsons has moved into its new purpose-built South African headquarters in Melrose Arch, Johannesburg, consolidating its local project delivery capabilities under one roof. It's essential that within projects there's, there's a great degree of interaction, um, you know, people talking to each other, continual meetings, etc. And, and this facility really creates that opportunity. It's so much more important to, to see someone face to face than it is talking over the telephone or on link on the internet. Um, so, so to have people in one space is, is a massive improvement. It's not so much only the building move though. What, what we've done as well is that we've, we've, we've apportioned the business to be appropriate for the markets that they serve. So large project delivery, sitting in a large project office with multiple skills etc. Is, is, is absolutely essential and suitable for that market. We also, however, have our public infrastructure side of the business, which is, is, is really you know, more consulting type business, more focused on, on, on smaller type projects, typically for, for a, a government, be it municipality or, or otherwise. And, and these are more appropriately positioned close to where the work is. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.